Welcome to the channel Codes Up. In this tutorial, we will learn one of the common functionality in the web world that is how to create a table in the React application. So if you have a question like how to create a customized and dynamic table in React.js then this tutorial will help you to learn this. So this is the final output which we will uh, get after implementing all our changes for uh, the creation of the react table so we assume that you have a basic knowledge of react and also you have a basic understanding of functional and class components in react so let's start with the overview of overview to table in the react js so we will create a simple table in react js just like you would create a table in the normal html page for styling purposes we will use the normal css so let's start with the steps to create a table in react so first step is the to create a simple react.js project so for this we will use the simple npx command so here we will simply execute the npx command and this that is npx create react app and react table app so react table app is the project name here so let's run it here and press simply press enter so it will uh, take some time because it downloads all the dependencies and sub dependencies for your project so wait for the some time while it's it is downloading all the required dependencies for your project So now this step is complete and here uh, we will get the message uh, here uh, we successfully get the message uh, that is happy hacking and it means that uh, all the required dependencies and sub dependencies for your project is got installed. So let's proceed with the second step. So second step is to move to the project directory. So for that we will use the cd command. cd react table app. So now we are in the project directory. So since uh, we are in the project directory, so now next step is the uh, is to import this project uh, into the uh, VS Code for the development purposes. So for that we will open Visual Studio Code and in the Visual Studio Code we simply import this project. So for that So now react table app project successfully imported into the VS code. So now uh, we have to uh, write the code for the creation of the react table. So open the app.js file and in this file first we need to remove all the existing code and all the existing code inside the div that is uh, that have class name as app so after removing this first we have to add header h1 and in this we simply add the name employee name and then we will create a table inside table we will create a head table head and then table row and inside table row we simply add name then similarly we will add three three 
थ्री मोर कॉलम दैट इज एज जेंडर एंड डेजिग्नेशन सो दिस इज एज दिस इज जेंडर एंड दिस इज डेजिग्नेशन टाइम टू एंटर द डेटा इन दी टेबल बॉडी सो फॉर दैट वी हैव सिंपली द डेटा वी विल सिंपली एट द डेटा डायरेक्टली दे सो दिस इज द डेटा फॉर द all the columns that we have mentioned in the table and now we need to add some css for this and for css we already have css here so we simply copy and paste that css but you can add it in in your project it manually so in app.css we remove the existing css and add the css so simply uh, here we created a simple table and inside that table we add the data statically so till now it is a static table so let's check it and after getting the output for the static table we will make it dynamic so now let's let's run it by using npm start command so again we are getting the message that logo is defined but never used but our project compiled uh, got compiled successfully and here we got the output that is the react table so this is the data that we have added statically in the our code so now next step is to make this table dynamic so most of the time in the application uh, our requirement is to is to populate the dynamic data in the react table so our table code should be dynamic so that it creates the dynamic and customized table which simply populates the data present in the array or present in the list so because uh, server sometimes returns us data Uh, a small data and sometime it returns huge data so our uh, logic to populate the uh, data uh, populate the data in the table should be dynamic so that it can adjust it ourselves so let's see how to render uh, data dynamically in the table with the help of an array so let's go to the app.js and in the app.js our first task is to uh, add the dynamic data so here we have a dynamic data so we simply copy it copy it and paste it here and then our next task is to populate this data dynamically in the table body so again we have a table body so we remove the static data present inside the table body and here we simply paste the data paste the logic of uh, showing data dynamically with the help of an array so basically uh, to showing data dynamically in the react table we we are using here inbuilt method of the array that is array dot map 
सो बेसिकली सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशन टू एरे डॉट मैप इज दैट दिस मेथड अलाउस अस टू आइट्रेट ओवर द एरे एंड मॉडिफाइड इट्स एलिमेंट बाई यूजिंग द कॉल बैक फंक्शन एंड द कॉल बैक फंक्शन विल देन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑन ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ द एरे सो इन दिस केस वी विल जस्ट रिटर्न द टेबल रो ऑन ईच आइट्रेशन कंप्लीशन सो हेयर सिंपली दिस इज द मेथड दैट वी आर यूजिंग and it is inbuilt array method so let's run this and check whether we can whether we get the same output or not and again again we will run the command npm start and hitting the enter so again we are getting the same output so let's check it by adding one more row in the uh, table data so that is name as a name as malan and age is 29 and then gender is male and design design designation as sd1 so now let's save it and will check the output whether our output contains this one more addition uh, one more row in the react table or not so here you can clearly see that that malan with age 29 gender male and designation as sd1 will successfully add it to the react table so yeah that's all for this tutorial hope uh, you like the tutorial please do subscribe our channel so that you cannot miss any updates on react and other technologies thanks for watching guys